as you as a person who have come from Burundi, I personally have not been to Burundi and I'm so yearning to visit Burundi. I also want to go to see for myself. Yes, but you. I want to see your perspective as a person who have lived and grown and started this journey of YouTube from Burundi. What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Samuel Travel in History and today I have a very special guest. A very special guest and he is a YouTuber. So I'm joined by the one and only Burundian traveler. We're going to ask him a few questions here and there. One, two, three and see how things will go. Yeah guys, I'm just here man. I'm just here, this is Burundian traveler, all, all, all the way from Burundi. All the way from Burundi. Uh, actually, to Mombasa, right? Yeah, yeah. Now we are in Mombasa, in this Mombasa. beautiful, beautiful place. So I was just walking around here, then my girl told me that maybe you have something to ask me, man. Yes. So I say, it's okay. So I yeah. have a I have few questions for you. Yes. Since you came from Burundi, and you are here in Kenya. Yeah. What is the difference between Burundi and Kenya? That is a general question you can give, maybe development. The difference between Burundi Anything and Kenya. Anything about like, actually, mm, there is something like development. Actually, there is a difference, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like in Burundi, uh, actually Burundi is not developed uh, like, like Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya. Like, uh, let me just say, like, for example, the road, mm -hmm. the tall buildings, mm -hmm. uh, the big cities, mm -hmm. but about the beautiful, it's beautiful. I think it's, it's just uh, similar. Yeah, beauty. about the beautiful. Beauty is Yeah, not similar. about like development, like maybe tall buildings and also like roads, uh -huh. wood loads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's says clean, clean. So the main difference between Burundi and Kenya is more about development. So that's what you're trying to yeah, say. Not only that one, mm -hmm. also peaceful. Also peaceful. Oh. Also be, the peace in Burundi and here mm -hmm. is different. It's a bit different. A bit. It's a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Kenya is, is peaceful, guys. Uh -huh. I don't say that it's not peaceful. It's peaceful. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is some places you will get to that. That is extreme. Yeah. That's the list of things they say like, ah, oh, be careful if you go here. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah. Maybe Nairobi, eh? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like in Nairobi, they say, oh, there is some places which is uh, maybe dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the but thing, in yeah. Burundi, actually, mm -hmm. you can't go somewhere with the things in, like maybe it will be hard to pass there, or maybe this is if the people are still things. Uh -huh. No, you don't think that. You know that the, the thing is, each and every city on each and every country, there is a bad yeah, and there is a and good. good. Yes. Yes. So, now you are here in Mombasa. You came from Nairobi yes. and you are in Mombasa. Yeah. So, first of all, what is, the dif what is the difference have you seen between Mombasa and Nairobi? Uh, Nairobi, mm -hmm. the difference between Mombasa and Nairobi, mm -hmm. the first, first thing, mm -hmm. It's about to green car over, which is the greenest Mombasa. Like Nairobi. just in nature, actually nature is enough inside of Mombasa. Yeah. Like you can see actually this place here yeah, right now is only green. Yeah. So even in Mombasa, and the, you know if uh, places have more nature like this thing which is the green, uh, even um, a situation of roads and the most thing you get is clean yeah so Mombasa is more clean uh -huh. than, Nairobi. than Nairobi yeah okay I also realized that when I came to Mombasa Mombasa is relatively clean than Nairobi yeah so how are you finding people of Kenya actually what is so what is so unique about Kenyan people actually Kenyan people are beautiful <laughs> and uh, <laughs> You know that beautiful I say is just uh, in the heart, you know? In the heart. Like most people I met, mm -hmm. they show me good nobody. And uh, you, you vibe with they the support, people, they support. Yeah, they they spend their time like to meet up me. Uh -huh. Some of them they cook for me. Oh 
some of them I just see trip for free. So you have been enjoying. So I really that. enjoy. Some uh -huh. of them they take me out. Mm -hmm. So actually I really love Kenya. And I'm already getting a new home, you know. <laughs> like someone told me that any time, any day, home, you are home. So yeah. that means people of Kenya are very hospitable, they are, are very good. caring, are good people, they are and good. they don't mind about like you are Burundian, you uh are -huh. from another country. Uh -huh. Actually, they welcome you like, like a brother, just a brother or sister. Wow. Yes. So, so that's in case you come, mm -hmm. enjoy yourself. So that's that's one thing about Kenya. That is a very unique thing I've learned about Kenya. They are very hospitable, caring, loving. As much as sometimes people might try to criticize us. So the next question is, yeah. what is what is the thing that makes you continue staying here in Mombasa? I think in Mombasa, I can't I can't realize anything, but I don't understand, you know. <laughs> Uh, since I entered in Mombasa, it's like, ah, I forgot everything. You forgot you are supposed to go somewhere else. Mm. Mombasa has. So, Mombasa is a different, man. I really enjoy a lot in Mombasa, and I don't know why, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I enjoy, you know, beaches. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Some, like, I got a new home actually inside of Mombasa. Mm -hmm. No other place. Wow. Yeah, I got two homes. Oh, two homes. Yeah, first in Mombasa, uh -huh. second one is in. Uh, um, in, in Ishibania, there, Ishibania. Uh, on border of Tanzania okay. and Kenya, wow. there in the village of Marwa, Marwa's village. Oh. I have another home there. Okay. Uh, so the yeah. people who welcome to me, like you are welcome in time, just a home. Any day. Yeah. So, another thing is for you to know the people, to relate with them, you know, you have to understand how they live, how they eat. What is how about the food? How about the Kenyan food? Uh, actually, most Kenyan food is good. Mm -hmm. I also love them. Uh -huh, yeah. It is a favorite food. Uh, you can say generally, maybe you have been Nairobi and you have been to Mombasa. We have Sukuma Wiki, uh -huh. we have most Swahili food like Biryani. Uh -huh. You have a plural, man. You're welcome. Man. Which part have you <laughs> enjoyed the most? Is it in Nairobi? Food or Mombasa food? Which is the best? Mombasa. Mombasa food is the best. Mombasa I enjoy, but maybe also Nairobi, but I didn't get a good time to enjoy in Nairobi because maybe less support, you know? Uh -huh. Like in Nairobi, I was just trying to get it to uh -huh. eat, eat. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't need to know about maybe eating well or bad or sleep well or do what. But in Mombasa, actually, you have enjoyed Yeah, fully. I sleep well. I walk around, mm -hmm. I get to drive for free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I see. It's, it's so, just a full enjoyment. So the, okay, this one might sound hypothetical, but uh, from what I've read from the internet and what I've, I've seen from the internet, is Burundi a bad country or is a, a good country? As you, as a person who have come from Burundi, I personally have not been to Burundi, and I'm so yearning to visit Burundi. I also want to go to see for myself. Yes, but you. I want to see your perspective as a person who have lived and grown and started this journey of YouTube from Burundi. What is Burundi like? Yes, you are welcome. The first thing I can tell you is you are welcome. Yeah. Okay. Because actually, Burundi is beautiful. Yeah. Burundi is beautiful. Uh -huh. It is peaceful also. Mm -hmm. People there, they, are, they respect the guests. Uh -huh. They respect the people from outside. Uh -huh. So we welcome and uh, that things they say, let it come, we will understand everything. You understand because me? if I tell you, man... You will not understand. No, you will understand, but people, they are already made a country. So okay. just to come. Eh? For now, I'm just to say, come. Eh? come Everyone needs to come, come. You will get the truth. Yeah. So guys, I'm so privileged to be with Burundi and Traveller. I didn't want to take much of his time because he's a very busy guy and uh, I want to 
tell him to say his last regards about Kenya, Burundi, and everything that is in his mind so that he can come up to the end of this video. Yeah, guys, uh, the basic thing is just to tell you that I really love Kenya and also Kenya. And also Africa, actually, on top of Africa, man, I really love Africa. So, I have a big dream to travel over there, even though maybe it can be hard or like, to start, but maybe God will make it easier. Yeah. So, the first thing I can say is just please support our brother mm -hmm. by subscribing. Comment, guys. Yeah, also, if it is possible, we would appreciate for that. Uh -huh. So, it's only that. So, I'm very happy to have you on my channel, and it's a privilege. And uh, we have come to the end of this video. So, if you found this video interesting, interviewing, and you are learning to visit more places with me, please consider subscribe, like, share, and I leave a good comment so that I can be motivated to do this more and more again. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye.